Welcome to E-Tech, the nexus of technology. My name is Johnny Z, and uh, this is Season 1, Episode 1. And today we're going to be talking about uh, mechanical hard drives versus SSD hard drives. But first I want to bring up a little bit, uh, a little bit of upcoming news. Currently right now in Taiwan is the Computex trade show where every manufacturer cpu manufacturer graphic graphics card manufacturer motherboard manufacturer you name it whatever you can buy at a pc or at your or at your local computer store they're showing off the latest and greatest stuff there now we will be doing a wrap-up video uh at the end of the show and sort of highlight the coolest things that are coming down but there's some very interesting things uh that i've seen so far if you want to see uh, what's going on? I've been tweeting a lot of the um, uh, news updates from different news sources and obviously crediting them and uh, uh, sort of telling everybody what's going on and what's uh, what's what's uh, the interesting things that I'm seeing. So just follow us on Twitter at ZTech News and you'll get all the latest, greatest stuff and we'll tell you when we're posting videos and what have you and it's a great way to communicate with us ask us questions do whatever you need to do we'll be there for you now today we're going to be talking about mechanical hard drives versus uh ssd hard drives or solid state hard drives this is the one and only technical advancement in computers that eliminate, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that eliminates the uh, uh, the one major sort of bottleneck in computers these days. Mechanical hard drives uh, hold a lot of information, but are slow as molasses. An SSD hard drive is a smaller size, but is super super fast to the point where I bought a new laptop uh, a couple of years ago and I was frustrated how slow it was going. It had a one terabyte mechanical hard drive in it. So what I did was I took out that hard drive, replaced it with an SSD drive. Now, let me tell you what kind of performance gains I got on it. And this, this machine is nothing special. It's an Intel i5, but it acted slower than that, uh, especially during boot up. Th and this is where SSD hard drives shine is during boot up. So with the mechanical hard drive, with all my stuff that I have to load up to get to the screen, and the thing is, with mechanical hard drives, and a lot of people know this, when you come into the morning, into the office, whatever, or turn on your gaming computer, you turn it on, walk away, come back, sort of have a coffee, have a sandwich, whatever, bake a cake, come back, and everything's booted up and ready to go, and the machine works as it's supposed to. But with an SSD hard drive, that changes completely. So when I had the, I ran a benchmark with the mechanical drive, I was roughly getting a minute, a minute 45 to two minutes for boot up, for everything to boot up on the machine. Now, once I put in that SSD, installed Windows, and added all the software that I needed to do, ran the same benchmark, and that totally changed from a minute 45 to two minutes to anywhere between 25 seconds to 30 seconds. That's how fast it was. That was, and the and the best feature about it is because it's so fast, you can launch applications while Windows is booting up. Like once you get to the main screen and it's loading all the crap that you see on the bottom right hand corner, all your little apps are running in the background. You can still launch apps. You can still do stuff, and it still works and boots up, and you see no slowdown in speed. So that's the main benefit. It kills, absolutely kills, the main issue with PCs these days, or any computers, even Macs or whatever. It's the hard drive bottleneck. That's what's killing everything. And once you put in an SSD drive, you will never ever go back to mechanical. Now, the big issue here is price and value. So with a one terabyte uh, mechanical hard drive that can cost you anywhere between uh, let's say I don't know 40 to about $80 depending if it's on sale on or not um, versus the average sized 
uh, SSD drive that I'm seeing being sold a lot, which are the 256 uh, to 250 gigabytes, uh, which run roughly anywhere between 100 to about $150. So right there, um, you know, the, the value tends to lean towards the mechanical hard drive. You have more space, but the speed is very slow. And the SSD drives doesn't hold that much space but they're extremely fast but here's the benefit and this is what a lot of people are, are doing what they're doing is they're using an ssd drive as their boot up drive so windows is installed in there and maybe one or two programs that they want to run pretty quickly and then you add in a secondary hard drive or a d drive versus the c drive which is your boot up and that is where you store all your documents. You're storing Word, Excel, presentations, videos, photos, any of that personal stuff that you have does not need to be on a super fast hard drive. It's happy running where it is at uh, on on a mechanical drive, and that's that's really good. It's that's how it should be. The SSD drive having just Windows on it will boot up your system phenomenally faster but also give you space so a 256 will hold windows and s several games maybe word and excel and some other stuff and then all the documents that you create just put them on the on the on the uh on the mechanical hard drive and that will absolutely free up your system make it super fast and super uh, beneficial so that's where we are right now now the ssd manufacturers uh best ones right now or the best company right now is samsung samsung has created their own controller chip within the chips um which is extremely fast extremely powerful and one of the best out there uh, they have the highest uh, speed rates that you can get because each manufacturer rates their write, like how much it writes the information on the hard disk or on the ssd and how much it reads off of it so by looking at numbers over 500 megabits per second, that's where the majority of, uh, of them sit. Samsung tends to boost their speeds a little bit more, but I mean, you get, you get the point. So if you find a Samsung on sale, jump on it, it is the best. If there's none on sale, but you want something very value added, there's a data, there's, uh, what are the manufacturers that are there? Uh, Crucial, uh, Kingston, uh, there's other ones that you can find that are just as good, maybe not as fast, but they're nipping at the heels of, uh, of Samsung because those companies can, don't, don't have the resources to build their own controller. So they're buying them from other manufacturers and designing the SSD drive around there. So that's the, that's the thing. So upgrading a laptop, upgrading a desktop slash a tower, which a lot of people call, um, by setting up an SSD, making it your C drive, putting Windows on there is the best thing you can do. I mean, literally the best thing you can do. There's nothing else better right now in the PC world that will boot up your system and make it work that much faster. Like, I mean, you are unleashing because an i7, a, an Intel i7, which is the fastest consumer grade CPU, and even the AMD Ryzen 7, which is the fastest um, on, on their side uh, CPU, you are choke holding it during the boot up of windows with a mechanical drive put an ssd on there the machine just feels faster and it will always be faster because the way the ssds are designed also you don't have to worry about files being uh defragmented or anything because the ssd hard drives write information on them on themselves differently than mechanical drives so that right there alone um you don't have to defragment you don't have to there's no real maintenance that that's associated with it which is very important um also just just to go a tiny bit a tiny bit further um a lot of a lot of you people out there who are building systems and you probably already know this but i'm going to I uh, can't even talk today. I will repeat it again. How's that? I will repeat that. You can get uh, instead of a mechanical, or instead of a an SSD that's designed to be like a hard drive, like in a little five and a half spa um, 
sort of container or box or whatever that you can put in your system. There are motherboards out there, even laptops, high performance gaming laptops where you can put in uh, an NVMe SSD card. It's literally a card yay big, okay? Just like a PC expansion card, but it's super tiny, plugs into the motherboard and communicates directly to the CPU using the PC uh, PCI lanes. Right then and there, you're looking at even more speed. Now, for instance, those two and a half inch drives, roughly the read and write uh, speeds are around 500 megabits per second. I'm just really simplifying and generalizing this. The, uh, the MVME SSD drives, the Samsung ones will do over 3,000 reads and writes per second, uh, 3,000 megabits per second. It is so fast that you won't even notice it when you're working on it. It The only way to tell the difference that it's running even faster than your other SSD or a mechanical hard drive is by running benchmarks. But the brilliant thing about it is you plug it directly onto the motherboard. There's no opening up your machine, putting it in a slot and screwing in the hard drive or the uh, the SSD just like a hard drive running cables to the motherboard and power cables to it it's very clean it goes right into the motherboard or into the laptop flip it open in the laptop there's usually one or two slots that you can put in there and there you go I mean you got even more speed even faster performance and again you will not go back also, manufacturers are creating, now right now the SSDs range from 120 gigabyte, 128, 256, 250. These speeds are all, the, these sizes are dependent on the controller. So depending on what controller you're using, they either do like for instance, 250 or 256. Very minor differences. Uh, 512 or 500. And then they go up to one terabyte. Now, a one terabyte hard drive or SSD drive will run you around four hundred dollars. So it is expensive compared to a sixty dollar uh, one terabyte uh, mechanical hard drive. But again, at this point, if you're buying a one terabyte one, you have been already drunken the SSD Kool Aid, and doesn't matter about price. You will buy the performance out of the one terabyte over anything else. And also now, I have seen two terabyte uh, SSD drives that are being created by, I believe by Micron. Um, and I've seen them on sale at actually really, really good prices. Um, I, I don't remember the prices right now. Um, and also news in the further sort of near future, um, Intel has found a way to get around the sort of one terabyte, two terabyte roadblock, and they're expecting to do 16, 15, whatever terabytes uh, worth uh, sizes on, uh, on SSD drives. So that's what we're going to. And the prices of the one and two terabyte drives will just plummet and everybody will be able to upgrade to terabyte hard drive configurations for the value of, I don't know, close to mechanical uh, prices. So everything will fall down. The higher ones will be obviously expensive at the beginning, but as we all know, technology marches forward, but at the same time, prices will continue to fall down. Uh, this wasn't like this about five years ago. SSDs were very expensive and they didn't last that very long. Now it's a completely different story. They've improved performance, they've improved reliability. And also just to let you know, still to this day, a mechanical hard drive is more reliable. Don't ask me what, well, no, you can't ask me. It's just the way that that technology has been refined and refined and refined for since the late 80s. So this, the, that's very reliable. Now, the reliability of SSD drives have gotten a lot better but it's still not perfect. So make sure you back up that drive or make sure you just, you know, change your documents folder in Windows to point to your D drive. So when you save your files from, you know, from Word and Excel, they all go there. So if anything fails on the SSD drive, you still have your backups of your, of your documents 
in the other one terabyte mechanical drive. So there's little tips and tricks there that that can save you that that can you know give you the performance you want, give you the backup and and reliability that you want, and get you all the speed that you want. It's almost like a win-win situation. So that's about it. I mean, that's the thing. If you're gonna if you're in the market for a new hard drive for your machine, or you bought a laptop and you're finding it slow, go pick up an SSD hard drive. Either install it yourself, get your computer store to install it for you, and you will see a night and day difference. And I love asking people how that you know how they feel about their uh, their uh, their upgrade, and everybody's eyes pops on and says, "Wow, it's it's amazing!" So that's a definite thing to do. So check that out. Um, also, um, just to sort of cap this off. Uh, I am a gamer. If anybody wants to follow me on Steam, uh, it just look for Johnny Z. Uh, been playing a lot of War Thunder uh, lately, so if anybody's into World War II tanks, planes, and ships, you know, come on in. We can uh, pop a few tanks, pop a few airplanes, and have some fun. Uh, also, the next episode, which will probably be next week sometime, is what's next for graphics cards or gpus there's a lot of rumors in it and uh and innuendo not innuendo but a lot of sort of rumors going down at computex nothing solid about what nvidia is coming out with next what amd is coming out with next with uh, for graphics cards so i'll keep on an eye on that and i will report on that on episode two so again that's it subscribe to my channel you know, ask any questions that you want. If you got any questions about this video, please post it underneath the video. Please subscribe and please follow us on Twitter at ZTech News. And that's it. I'm Johnny Z. We'll see you at the Nexus.